<laughs> Isn't it beautiful? It's so soothing. The beautiful lilting music. It's the theme song from my new show. <laughs> They're lovely. <laughs> <laughs> Actually, <laughs> that's enough of that. <laughs> a friend of mine got me this doll in 2004. Went to Hawaii and got this thing for me. And she just, <laughs> she's a stitch. Um, but she dances too. Um, and I can hold the wheel on the bottom with a piece of tape. She rolls around and dances and... and moves her hips and <laughs> plays that dreadful music. But uh, if I put tape on the wheels, it holds the motor still, and she only does the music. So that was what I did for that little special effect. <laughs> this is so high dollar. <laughs> Y'all, I've invested so much money into this <laughs> program for you guys. <laughs> so, I mean, you need to, you know, realize, you know. Anyway, so that's the theme song. Okay, um, I am exhausted. I have busted my ass in this doll room today. Um, it was like a hoarder lived here, you know, and I'm not a doll hoarder. I got a big ass doll collection, you know, but I'm not, I don't, I'm not a hoarder. Um, and it, this doll room that was so much smaller than the one in Dallas at the loft, and, um, I could just, I could barely move in here. There's just so much. I mean, I have my eBay inventory, you know, and my sewing projects and all that. And it's just, it was, I was overwhelmed. And there was like a little path from the door, you know, to get back here to, to the computer so I could do my eBay. And so I, uh, I worked all day in here, all day. And dolls are on shelves. Everybody's on a stand, it's standing up. You know, the houses are set up and look a lot better. Um, out in here behind y'all when you can't see it um, I'll do a video and show off the doll room when I get it pretty it's it's not perfect I don't want to show it yet and I can't take the laptop and walk around the laptops all hooked up to everything and the, you know the and I don't want to try to do that but I'll use my phone you know the phone's got a better camera than this thing anyway um, so I'll show off the doll room at some point but not now um, but I did say that I would be back um, and then I would do a video and, you know, most of them are going to be doll related, you know. Um, and, um, so when I got through working in here, I thought, oh, I'll go ahead and do it, do another little video before I go to bed. Um, so, um, deboxing videos for doll collectors are always fun, especially if it's something that's vintage because you feel kind of dirty, you know, <laughs> like, you know, I mean, I personally, I, I debox, you know, but there's still like that twinge of guilt especially if it's something that's vintage, you know. Um, and so we're going to uh, examine a clone doll named Mini Mod by Shillman um, from the late 70s. And we're going to look at some of her fashions that I have that are on card. And uh, we're going to open one and put her in it, dress her in it um, tonight. So um, isn't that exciting? Aren't you happy? Aren't you glad that I'm here for you? <laughs> in this time of peril. <laughs> so, <laughs> and I'm having a little glass of wine. I haven't had a, uh, a drink in well over a week. So, you know, and that's good for me. So I decided to have a little glass of wine in my Barbie, my Barbie cup, my Barbie glass. And so uh, we will um, uh, look at little Ms. Minnie Mod I have over here off camera and I'll talk about her a bit. And um, then we'll uh, look at her fashions and then we'll open one and um, it'll be fun. You'll love it. You'll love it. It's going to be exciting. So, um, Mini Mod. This is one that I've had for a while. And she's from the late 70s. I had her when I was a kid. I had a bunch of them when I was a kid. You could buy her at like Kmart. I remember there was a store at, uh, Six Flags Mall in Arlington, and the store was called McCrory's, and it was, you know, a department store, you know, and it had like a luncheonette in it, you know, it was like a Kmart, but just a, maybe a, 
a little more upscale than a Kmart, but not like a family dollar, you know, and there was a, uh, not like family dollar, better than Kmart, but not like, not like Dillard's there. That's where I was going with that, you know, um, and they had a lunch counter and, uh, they had a great toy department. They had a fantastic toy department. In there, and they were just loaded with clone stuff, you know. And when I was a kid, you know, back in the 70s, we didn't use the term clone, you know, they were just like knockoff Barbies, they weren't Barbie, you know, they were just cheap, cheap Barbies. Um, but uh, they had uh, always had mini mods or mini mods of different type, um, throughout the years. Um, and every weekend, we would go to Six Flags Mall, we would eat at El Chico, the Mexican restaurant, and um, I would use my allowance and get some kind of little inexpensive, you know, doll thing, you know, and Mini Mob was so affordable, she was usually a choice, you know, that she was, you know, uh, something with my go-to choice, because she was so affordable, um, so Mini Mod here, um, oh, and I've had this one sitting around for a while, I forget, I got her in a lot, I forget, um, when or where I got her, but I've had her for, you know, maybe a year or so, a couple of years, and, uh, She's just been sitting around in, in, in her blue swimsuit, um, waiting for me to dress her and pay some attention to her. She's been, she's actually been laying in a pile on the floor in that sad, see, like, hoarder direction. Yeah, that's not me. Nah, no, nah, no. Nah. My dolls get taken care of, but, um, it's just, I've been overwhelmed. Anyway, so she is, uh, blow-molded plastic. She's hollow, you know. Um, she is articulated at the neck. And the shoulders and the hips and she also has a twist and turn waist um, she is what we call a v-leg doll v-leg dolls are they sit like that you know they don't sit ladylike like Barbie with their legs together you know they they sit like that so there's not many posing possibilities with her you know her knees don't bend and so you know like, she can't sit at a dining room table like that, you know, or on the sofa. That wouldn't be very, you know, like, hi there. <laughs> Come on in. <laughs> oh, you know, please excuse my posture. <laughs> my, my hips don't work. <laughs> I have to wear this swimsuit all the time. Otherwise, well, you know. So, uh, poor Minnie Mod. <laughs> but she's got a sweet face. Um, I like her little face. This is a face mold that they came out with uh, after 1976-77. And I believe the face mold is supposed to mimic Superstar Barbie with her, you know, glamorous, you know, wide Farrah Fawcett type smile, you know. So, um, she's like kind of a Superstar Barbie clone. This one happens to have a bit of a tan. She's not like Malibu tan, but she's she's somewhat tan. Somewhat. Um, just a little. So anyway, so there's Minnie Mod. Um, <laughs> here, darling. Get back on your little stand so we can talk about your clothes. Shulman is a really cool doll company, or they were a really cool doll company. They started in the, uh, in the mid to late 60s. I want to say 1965, I think, was when they started. And... Um, they started out, I believe they just started out making doll accessories. And they're, they're, they're things from the, uh, from, the, from the late 60s, from the mod era, are really spectacular and are highly sought by collectors. Uh, they, do this, they do these um, beautiful uh, lame uh, type metallic thread fabric dresses that are just like, bam, like they're, they're, they're so shiny. And, uh, you know, we go nuts over them, you know. Um, you guys that collect clones, you know, are, know what I'm talking about, you know. Um, the dresses are like, they're like chrome. They're so shimmery and so beautiful. Um, they made, uh, around that time, they were they were making a doll called Maxi Mod as opposed to Mini Mod. I've got Maxi Mod over there. I've got a couple of them. She was very mod. She had rooted eyelashes. She was, she was more high quality than, than Minnie Mod here. Um, and her clothes were great. The clothes were highly accessorized. Uh, they had purses and 
shoes and jewelry that came with them. They were they were nothing in comparison to to the Mattel quality of the period. But the designs were well thought out, uh, and and the quality wasn't just awful, you know. But you you know you have to be careful with them. You find them today, and they, they're kind of they're falling apart. Sometimes you have to repair them. But uh, anyway, so uh, these are some carded mini mod fashions that I have and these are from the late 70s um, and the I would venture to say that the late 70s was when Shillman was at its height I mean you could find Shillman clothing accessory packs and the mini mod doll like everywhere they were you know at all they weren't at better department stores but you could find them at Kmart Mott's TGMY uh, you know, uh, uh, Woolworth, you know, they were, you know, they were everywhere like that, you know, drugstores, um, you know, yeah, they were everywhere, you know, um, they, they, it, 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 I was just going to say, and it says it right here on the package, shoes and accessories available in separate packages. So, uh, this is one of the fashions, this is late seventies. It's not dated, but, um, it, it is. It's late 70s. Um, maybe early 80s. Maybe like 1980. Let's see if that says anything. Well, I, bingo. 1980. So there you have. Okay. 1980. This is called Trim Coat. It says so right there. Trim Coat. And it says to fit all 11 and a half inch dolls, including Barbie Fashion Candy, one of my personal favorites. PJ, Christy, Mini Mod, etc. Um, it's a cute coat. It's like a like a, a military green felt with a white fuzzy collar that's ostensibly fur. <laughs> so it's nice. That's cute. So there's that. And then here's one. It's called Tennis Scene. It's a little tennis pullover in a pair of shorts. Look at those shorts. It's like Scott Baio would have worn those. Can you imagine? <laughs> it's like, or like Battle of the Stars, remember? <laughs> On ABC. <laughs> oh my God. Didn't Greg Evigan have a pair like that? <laughs> This one is called, this one's fancy. It's called Midnight Dancer. And it's like a metallic thread disco jumpsuit with a ribbon belt. Look at that. That's fancy. It's so au courant. <laughs> it's très modern. Très, très modern. <laughs> and then the one that I've decided that we're going to open is called Leisure Time. Which is appropriate for the for the time, and it's a little pair of green slacks and a green and white pullover. See, I like that one. We're gonna open that one. I have to use my inhaler. <coughs> I got the corona. <laughs> now I have COPD. <laughs> but uh, anyway. So we're going to open this one, all right, and this is so exciting because it's old, so 1980, so what is it, is it 40 years old, it's 40 years old, 40 years old, I'm going to open this bitch, okay, so I will, in order to preserve the most important information, the writing, like this is all the dates and stuff, this is manufacturer and date, this has the name of the outfit, see, Leisure Time, okay? And those are under the adhesive of the cellophane sheeting on top. So you want to go in where it's least important. <coughs> and that would be the picture of a really, you know, because you just want the name and the dates documented. So I'm going to peel away from the top. Yep. 
is the top. And there's the slacks. And then I put it all back. <coughs> Excuse me. I'm so sorry. Then the packaging is relatively unscathed. See? So there. Let's put that down there. All right. We're gonna check out the quality together. Okay, well. The snaps are 40 years old, and they're made of aluminum, so they're corroded, which is nice. That nice? Are they still going to work? Ugh. Ugh. Yeah, they work. It's a slim trouser, so that's very 1980, because, you know, bell bottoms were history by 1980, you know. So a slim cut slack. Cute. Oh, the snap on the blouse is much better. The top, well, I think I spoke too soon. No, it is. Yeah. Yeah. The Oh, this is, they're cotton, by the way. It's like quilting cotton. And then so is the, uh, the blouse, but it's kind of a higher grade. It's a little thicker. And then the trim, the cuffs and the waistband and the neckline, the V-neck, or stretch their jersey, their jersey, jersey cotton, and it still has a nice, nice stretch to it. So yeah, cool. All right. Okay, girl, you ready to get dressed, girl? Come on. Let's put some clothes on you. She's like, thank God, I have been wearing this swimsuit since 1981. <laughs> She's so over it. She's been wearing it a long time. <coughs> the um, <laughs> the body is where her boobs were. <laughs> I'm making myself laugh and choke. It's faded. <laughs> oh my god! I'm cracking myself up. <laughs> ah, thank you. All right, so um, here you can see her body construction. See, her one arm is <laughs> it's loose. She, oh my god! <laughs> here, girl, girl, let's play. It's like a game show. We can have a game show with her. Oh my god! There needs to be like things that like you know, it's like spin the wheel. <laughs> Oh my god. So, um, but there's her twist waist, and it goes straight across rather than on a slant, you know, so that is like Superstar Barbie. So, yeah, yeah. She got a belly button, too. Anyway, so. <laughs> Let's see. Now, I know from experience that you would think you'd put the pants on first and then the top the way that people dress most of the time, but no. You want to put the top on first because it'd be difficult to get the top up over the pants on a doll. See, so so let's um put her top on. <laughs> All right, girl, come on. And then of course her fingers are going to snag the uh, the cuffs and the stitching. Of course they are. You got to be careful to not rip that little cuff off. I mean, because that's how cheap these clone clothes are. You know. All right, well, did we do it? Oh, that that went relatively, that was smooth. That went nicely. All right, turn your head, wouldn't, you, wouldn't that be great? Here, let's just turn your head backwards so we can snap your blouse. Yeah, you know, there, all right. Oh, it's a cute blouse, it is cute, it's cute, all right. And then, of course, the fabric of the blouse helps to hold her arm up. <laughs> she, if she wasn't wearing clothes, her arm would just swing back and forth. Oh, my God. <laughs> we are going to do a game show with her someday. I'm gonna, we are. I'm going to figure it out. <laughs> it's going to be awesome. Oh, my God. All right. Girl, you need to put your pants on. 
Girl, you porky, she's a porky pig in it, baby. <laughs> Pants even fit her? Girl, your hips. Oh, oh my God, they fit her, but that. <laughs> they fit, but they don't close completely in the back. So her ass hangs out. <laughs> Quality. This is quality. Quality. Mattel, take a cue from this. <laughs> this, is, <laughs> this is quality right here. Oh my god. All right. <coughs> well, it's very cute. It is cute. It's a cute outfit. It's cute. It's very 80s, you know. It's, it's, Absolutely, what it is. Get a brush. <laughs> Poor thing. She's like, I don't know whether I should be flattered or offended. Oh my god! It <laughs> plug of her hair just. Came. This is not going well. <laughs> I am so sorry, girl. She goes, bitch, you ripped out my weave, girl. <laughs> I'm going to beat you down, girl. <laughs> my weave, girl. <laughs> I spent good money on that, girl. Oh, my God. Where did the hair plug come from? Well, I can't find a hole that's, uh, uh, that's not missing hair. Maybe it was just extra. Like... From the factory that was just suspended in there. It maybe it wasn't rooted. <laughs> like, this faggot is ripping my hair out, making fun of my ass, talking about. <laughs> Poor baby. Poor thing. <laughs> so there, and I have a, you know, I have a lot of clone shoes. And so previously, before I started the camera, this is all my clone shoes in here. And, uh, well, not all of them. I mean, I have more than that. But I picked out a pair of shoes to go with the outfit. And they are white. Little kitten heel type pumps. So there. That don't fit her very well. <laughs> Even though they're hers. They're shillman. They're mini mod. They don't fit her, though. Quality. Quality, quality. There, so there, she's got her little shoes on now. So, yeah, she looks cute. Poor thing. She hates me. Let's put her on her stand. All right. Now she'll be ready to go over on the shelf with all of her friends so she can bitch about me. What a vicious old queen I am. So there she is in her outfit. But yeah. <laughs> so, I guess that's the end of the video, I suppose. So, <laughs> thank you for watching. <laughs> and um, I'll do one, you may, maybe tomorrow, maybe in a couple of days, I don't know. But um, until then, cheers. Thank you for watching. <laughs>